Hello folks, so this is uh, 2007, October, November, paper one, uh, uh, paper two. Uh, in those days, they didn't have uh, uh, variants. And uh, I'm not exactly comfortable with the question number, but uh, anyhow, it is the uh, question of the chapter elastic properties, properties of matter, I would say. It says that a sample of material in the form of a cylindrical rod has length L and uniform area of cross section A. The rod undergoes an increasing tensile stress until it breaks. So here it breaks. Figure 4.1 shows the variation with the stress of the strain in the rod. So the graph shows the variation of stress along with strain. So what uh, we have here is uh, the stress is in the x-axis. Uh, it is uh, uh, increasing linear. Uh, the strain is increasing linearly. So the maximum stress here is about. Uh, so this is five, six, seven, eight. Mm, no, it's not true. So it's five here. So it is if it is five, it should be. So there are forty divisions here. So it is. Uh, 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 it is ten into ten upon eight pascals in forty divisions. So uh, it must have some value. So let's uh, do it later. The first thing that we have to do is state whether the material of the rod is ductile, brittle, or polymeric. So the material is uh, uh, exactly uh, brittle substance because uh, till here it is uh, the proportional limit and uh, soon after that it breaks so that means we can't see the mm, uh, yield point here uh, we can see the even elastic limit here so that's why the substance should be a uh, brittle substance so we can write here we can write here brittle so the brittle substance so determine the young's modulus of the material of the rod so that is given by y is equal to stress by strain stress by strain and we can uh, calculate this value you know, from any uh, from the data at any place here so let me do that here uh, let me uh, use my uh, calculator as well let me bring it to the four so if i need to uh, need to go to the stress what do i have is as i told previously so what i have is so this is five so we have a uh, 40 divisions and uh, mm, uh, it is a 5 into 10 upon 8 pascals. So this should be this should be 6. This should be 6 here. Uh, this should be uh, 7. 7. Uh, this should be 8. And this should be 9. So 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 this should be this should be 9.5. So it is 9.5 into 10 upon 8 pascals. And the strain is so since this 0 0.01, uh, this should be this should be. Uh, 0 0.015 one five. Uh, then this should be this should be uh, 0 0.0125 and so this point should be this point this point should be uh, 0 0.013 so it should be equal to uh, 0 0.013 so 0 0.01 uh, 0 0.011 0 0.012 0 0.013 so equal to equal to 9.5 exponent 8 divided 0 0.013 0 0.013 equal to so this becomes this becomes 7.3 into 10 to the power 10 pascals so it is 7.3 into 10 to the power 10 pascals so this is the answer for the Young's modulus now now in the next piece we are given uh, another question here so the question is like this so let me fold this thing so that uh, i can uh, use the data from this piece into the next one so uh, it says that uh, a second uh, cynical rod of the same material same material means that uh, young's modulus is the uh, same same material uh, has a spherical bubble in it so ma mainly due to uh, due to air that is as in the figure here so we have applied force like this the rod has a cross section of uh, 3.2 minus 6 meters square so this is a given a here and is stressed by forces of magnitude this much forces by reference to this figure calculate the max area of the cross of the bubble such that the rod doesn't break so we have to maximum allowed uh, area of the bubble so from the previous diagram what we have is uh, what we have is 
the maximum stress the maximum stress stress max is equal to from here what i have is stress at this point which is equal to equal to equal to 9.5 into 10 to the power 8 it's because after this stress this breaks and we have to we have this statement here increasing tensile stress until it breaks so these are breaking stress so stress max and now the force applied here is the force is equal to f is equal to 1.9 into 10 to the power 3 newton so it means that now we have since area is equal to equal to uh, <coughs> equal to force by stress force by stress stress is equal to force by area so that's why area equals force by stress we must have the minimum area required area minimum required of the material of the material not the bubble of the material should be equal to the applied force by the maximum stress it can bear the maximum stress it can bear so when stress is maximum area becomes minimum and that's equal to 1.9 into 10 to the power 3 divided stress max is a 9.5 into 10 to the power 8 power 8 so 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 the minimum area will be area will be uh, so let's do it like this 1.9 uh, exponent 3 divided divided uh, 9.5 exponent 8 equal to so this is equal this equal to 2.0 into 10 to the power 10 to the power power, power minus 6 minus 6 meter square so this is the minimum area of the material required so that means this area and this area should be equal to this so the area of the cylinder given is this so that means the area of the bubble the max area of the bubble allowed is area of the bubble allowed area of the bubble allowed is is equal to this area 3.2 into 10 to the power minus 8 minus this max um, minimum area of the material so it is 2.0 into 10 to the minus 6 so that becomes 1.2 into 10 to the power minus minus uh, so this is 6 actually so minus 6 meter square so this is the area of the bubble allowed so when i write here it is 1.2 into 10 to the power minus 6 then the last question is about uh, again we have a rod of the same material and you bend it so what what it says is explain why a thin rod can bend more than a thick rod without breaking so the breaking is all about uh, all about the difference in uh, difference in the strain in uh, strain in different parts of the body so if uh, i have thick one here if i uh, bend a thick one what happens is the difference between here and here will be more this thing stretches this thing stretches and this thing compresses compresses and the middle line and the middle line middle line will remain same will remain same so the difference in this length and this length in case of a thick rod will be more but in case of a thin rod thin rod somewhere like this if the rod is just like just this much just this much just this much the difference between the upper surface and the lower surface will be will be will be very less very less so in a thin rod difference is very less thick rod the difference will be high so when the difference is high definitely they will develop cracks this continuities so that's why thick rods bend very soon and the thin rods do not bend much so that's why we can bend them much